story of independence and change. Black History Month celebrates the accomplishments and successes of black Americans. Only on 13 News Now, Alex Littlehales explores the history of Station 12, a group of firefighters who fought more than burning buildings. This story is about African Americans coming together. What red blooded American boy doesn't want to be a firefighter? No matter how much this building and this place have changed, no change quite equals the one that would shape African American history. A self sufficient black community within itself. The year is 1948 in the historic SeaTac community when segregation divided a post World War II America. We couldn't even walk on the ocean front. I wasn't allowed to go to certain places, you know, at, at near the ocean front, and whatnot, but hey, what doesn't kill you makes you strong. Miles west from the city's oceanfront, SeaTac served as a thriving African American community. It was here where 19 men changed the world around them. African Americans decided that they needed a fire station of their own because they would have to pay $50 to get a white fire station to come in and put out a fire. Out of need for protection sprung the Station 12 SeaTac Volunteer Fire Department. According to historical records found by historian Edna Hawkins Hendricks, it is believed to be one of the earliest black-owned fire stations in the entire country. Black-owned. Everyone there was black. And they supported it. They raised the funds to, to get their equipment. It is one of the earliest, and I'm going to say among, just in case another one comes up because as you can tell with African-American history, there are new discoveries coming about all the time. $2,500 went a long way back then. It's what SeaTac's neighbors raised for a 1924 Hollabird with a 700 gallon water tank, the station's first fire truck, a point of pride for their community. SeaTac stood out amongst all of the communities. Norfolk had a fire station and it was manned by African Americans. The city owned that particular fire station. By the 1950s, dozens served the station ranks, and today the names of Station 12's first firefighters still shine from the metal plaque outside. Leaders who Bill Graves still remembers. Well respected in the community. Well, growing up here in SeaTac, I became a junior firefighter back in 1961. At 16 years old, Bill joined the still entirely African-American unit. Pivotal in my life because it was, uh, I had mentors there, men that helped mold me. Next to Sunday church, it was the thing to be a part of. No one made me become a part of it. It was something that I wanted to do because it was exciting. SeaTac was the only black community that had a fire station. Decades later, the station still stands on South Birdneck Road. No matter how much this building and this place may change, its history is one thing that will never. These men stood up. These men took the challenge to support themselves. In SeaTac, I'm Alex Littlehales for 13 News Now. The original location of Station 12 is now the SeaTac Community Rec Center. It's named after Joseph Grimstead, one of the original firefighters who dedicated the land for the city.